For manual flight, you only need the two sticks and a flight mode switch. In mode 1, the right stick controls the throttle and roll. The left stick is used for pitch and you. All of the switches on the remote controller should be in their top position, indicated by arrows. The flight mode switch, marked SC, has three positions. The top position is for manual mode, middle position is for altitude hold, and bottom position is for position hold. The drone will react to a flight mode change with the LED integrated in the safety button. Green light means the mode is active, while red light means failure. In this case, we cannot switch into position mode, as the drone does not have GPS lock. To arm the drone, first set the flight mode that you want to use, lower the throttle to minimum, and push the left stick all the way to the right. The drone will not arm if the safety button was not activated. Push the safety button until it beeps. Now the drone can be armed. To disarm the drone, lower the throttle to minimum, switch to manual flight mode, and push the left stick all the way to the left. This is a manual flight demonstration in altitude hold mode. For autonomous flight, all the previous controls are the same, but there are three new switches. The SB switch is for the offboard mode. In offboard mode, the drone is flying autonomously. Push it all the way down to engage the offboard mode, and all the way up to retake manual control. The SD switch is used to control the drone with the remote controller, while it is flying autonomously. In this mode, the drone continues to fly autonomously, but it takes its reference from the position of the remote controller sticks. This can be useful if you want to manually reposition the drone, while keeping it in the autonomous flight. To engage this mode, push the switch all the way down. The SH switch is a momentary switch, and it is used to trigger the escalating emergencies in the system. By default, one click of the switch will trigger emergency hover, and a second click will trigger emergency landing. To start an autonomous flight, first make sure that the MRS system is running and it is ready for takeoff. On the remote controller, first set the desired flight mode that you want to use in case of a manual takeover. To start the autonomous flight, arm the drone, and then engage the offboard mode. The MRS system will conduct takeoff in the autonomous mode. Set your throttle stick to 50% so that it is in flight position in case of a manual takeover. The drone is now flying autonomously, and it does not react to standard inputs of the remote controller. Use the SD switch if you want to move the drone with the remote controller.
to land, call the landing service in the MRS system. You can also use the emergency landing by the remote controller by triggering the SH switch two times with at least two second pause in between. The drone will end on its own and disarm itself. If you need to retake full manual control during an autonomous flight, simply push the offboard switch SB all the way to the top. You will regain control instantly, so make sure that your flight mode is correct and be ready to pilot the drone immediately. Once you switch to manual mode, there is no way to return back to offboard mode while flying.